BBC Radio Lancashire. Uh, so, um, where do we come unstuck? Is it actually starting it or not finishing it? <laughs> um, well, I think it's a bit of both. Uh, but what's clear is that homeowners are wasting £42 million a year on work that's kind of gone wrong, that they've tried to attempt themselves. And then they've had to hire a professional tradesperson to finish the job. So is it overestimating your own ability or is it just, you know, basically, yeah, I can do this, I'll have a go, uh, trying to do the best and then getting a real pickle? I think it is overestimating your ability. So people, um, you know, maybe trying to save a bit of money and think that maybe they're more experienced or, or more skilled than they might really be in reality. Um, but it, our research does show that the average time between starting and then giving up on, on a project can be two years. Um, and 40% say that this has caused arguments in the home, as you can imagine, uh, if something's dragging on for two years. Yeah, I, I once knew a builder, still do, who was a builder and had a leak on a roof for about three years. And you couldn't ever mention it when you're entering. If you don't, don't mention it to the wife, don't mention it to the wife, don't say anything about the leak. Uh, yeah, and he was busy all the time and never mended the leak. <laughs> no, I mean, it's an absolute nightmare because you're looking at that unfinished work every single day, so it's bound to get to you. Yeah, stress. But what is it about the work then? What? what I mean, I'll be honest with you, I've done a little bit of DIY. I'm mean, Not a great deal, but I do what I can. And what I find the overestimation is you think, you get asked, you, could you, yeah, go on, I'll have a go at that. Yeah, I'm never, I'll have a go, yeah. It's the time. It is. You it see, is. I think, well, I've got two days. Of, yeah, I'll manage that this weekend. Three weekends later, you're still finishing off things. That's the problem, isn't it? I think it is the time. And also, you know, people might start a job and then realise it's a bit more complicated than they envisaged. And, you know, it's quite stressful and difficult. So they might start procrastinating and putting it off and putting it off. Um, and, you know, people are trying to install kitchens, install bathrooms, things that you need to be using every day. So if that kind of stuff is left yeah. half done, it can be very, very tricky. So how do you balance the thing with, OK, go to professional to get your bathroom fitted could be quite costly I'll go and buy the tiles I'll get the fixer I'll do that I'll do the floor I'll do the plumbing that's going to be cheaper isn't it or I, is it I don't think so no I mean our research shows that on average it's costing people an extra £900 when they they start the project themselves then have to bring in a professional to finish it um, it's just a complete false economy so really what you should be doing is getting you know two or three quotes from a local professional builder through a trade association like the FMB and then you know finding out someone who can who can do the job properly and saving yourself a huge amount of stress and money in the long run. Talking from a customer's point of view, and this will not be gladly hitting your ears, I know, from your profession, but, you know, people may be fearful of getting it done badly by a professional too, because it does go on. No, I can, I can see why they would worry about that. There are lots of TV programmes that shine a light on the dodgy builders that, you know, operate in the UK, but there are lots more very professional builders and you know you can get in touch with those kind of firms through the FMB we independently inspect our members before they're allowed to join so you know when you come to the FMB that you'll get a good reliable tradesperson so you can rely on these marks we see on the vans on their livery on their adverts and everything else if they're marked up properly we can trust that well that's it the logo means something because we independently inspect and vet them it's mm. not any old firm that can join the FMB can I ask you the, the, the problems that do occur here I mean look we're coming up to a time now Christmas, right? And that in most households around the country, especially in Lancashire, we're proud people. We want it the best for when our visitors come or someone comes in at Christmas and the Christmas spirit. So, yeah, of course, people have a spring clean and all that, although it's winter, it's a spring clean in December. But it comes to what you said before. Do you know that that's bit? Can you, re can you do those doors before Christmas? Can you paint that? Can you do this? And a lot of people take on DIY jobs probably about now to get ready for Christmas. That's dangerous, isn't it? It is. It's certainly dangerous if you're doing something fairly significant. I mean, I wouldn't go anywhere near a bathroom or kitchen at this stage <laughs> in December. Um, you know, whatever about maybe putting up a shelf or, or, or something like that, it's a very minor job. And even if it did go wrong, it Depends be... what you hit, doesn't it, really? <laughs> Come on. Um, but I think people should always err on, on the side of caution at this time of year. You know, go to January and, and get a professional in to do it and you'll, you'll save yourself a huge amount of stress. So you're telling us to patch it up for Christmas and get on with it in the January. That's it, especially for <laughs> yeah, I like that, I <laughs> like that. Because, you know, when you do... I mean, I say I have done a bit of DIY. I'm not I'm saying I'm a, a master at it by any stroke of imagination. But, you know, we're not, our house is an older house, so you go to do a simple job... Uh, which ends up being quite a big job. And, and that happens quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, well, things can spiral out of control. You know, you might think that, you know, doing a simple job will be quite straightforward, but 
you know, unintended consequences can occur. And like you said, you can be knocking through a wall and, and hit a pipe or all sorts of Been crazy there, things that. can happen. <laughs> so, you know, personally, I think I would much rather just rely on a professional who, who will know how to handle those curveballs if they happen. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Um, I've done a little, tried plastering, which is an art, believe me. Uh, and only oh, only a little bit, a little bit. I'll just do that. And, and when you start, you see, this is why I went down this path of you start something. And it ended up being most of the chimney breast. Oh, it was a little bit in the corner. And I thought, I'll just put that. Yeah. Oh, and it all fell apart. And then, oh, my word. And then, then you're left with it, aren't you? Either go and get a professional plaster or say to your wife, yeah, no, it's fine. I'll sort this. I'll sort this. It's that macho thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was hard. I but think but that was a little job that went big. Yeah, I think it was brave of you to attempt plastering. I wouldn't have not, attempted that. Not if you come and see it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, I mean, for something like that, that's a real skilled profession, so I wouldn't go near it unless uh, you knew what you were doing. Listen, I would never go near it again either. It was, uh, <laughs> I still dream about that. But you would advise, if you've, you know, you're thinking of a little DIY job just now, leading up to Christmas, unless it's very simple... Put it on the back burner. Uh, absolutely, because, you know, 40% of those that, that responded said that, you know, this unfinished work had caused arguments around the home. Christmas can be a stressful time as it is, so let's not add to the stress by um, <laughs> half-finished work and, and disastrous DIY jobs. So what's the top three things, then, that the people actually put off doing work? Um, well, there's painting and decorating. There's uh, kitchens and bathrooms being installed. There's, you know, window installments, which... I can imagine why you would want to put those kind of jobs off because, you know, they cause a lot of upheaval in the yeah. home. They're quite hasslesome. So, yeah, I mean, there are lots of different things, but I'd say they were the main ones. But there are tradesmen out there. They're not all on these dodgy programmes. There are good tradesmen out there. you just got to find them and make sure they've got the, the proper accreditation. Yeah, the vast majority of builders are professional. And if you go to a proper trade association like the FMB, then that's where you'll find them. It's just unfortunate that the rogue trader programmes shine a light on all the bad ones and not the good ones, obviously. Well, that's where the stories are. Yeah, it doesn't uh, make good television. <laughs> Sarah, you talk about it. Uh, do you do it? Do you? Are you a DIY yourself? <laughs> God no, I wouldn't go near it. <laughs> I'm very story. no, no, I wouldn't go near it. <laughs> I'm very, very much aware of my limitations. So, yeah, and especially yeah. doing the job I do, I, I'm yeah, I'm aware yeah. of what so can go wrong. So it's definitely dial up for you then. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It sounds like good advice. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot. That's really nice. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers, Sarah. Bye bye.